I, uh, I'm enjoying the Disney live-action reboots of, uh, of all their, their famous movies. We had Snow White and the Huntsman a couple years ago. We've got Maleficent now. I like them. Because uh, they're reflecting you know, the modern times. They're updating the, the tales a little bit. What I enjoyed about Snow White and the Huntsman, and we'll get to Maleficent in a second, what I enjoyed about Snow White and the Huntsman was uh, Kristen Stewart from Twilight played uh, Snow White. Now, she's a solid on her best day, a seven. Uh, <laughs> playing the evil queen, Charlize Theron, who's on a scale of one to ten is about a 23. <laughs> so when she asks the mirror who's the fairest of them all, uh, the mirror fucking lied. <laughs> big, time, big time. Nobody in the whole kingdom is picking, over, is picking Snow White in that matchup. Oh, oh, you mean I can get one of the ten hottest women in, in the world? Or a goth chick. <laughs> yeah. Then we get to Maleficent. Okay, Sleeping Beauty. The story of Sleeping Beauty, but told from the evil chick's perspective. And uh, Sleeping Beauty, uh, played by like Dakota Fanning's sister. She's a she's about a five and a half. <laughs> I mean, her name has beauty in it. I don't see it. Uh, and meanwhile, the evil sorceress which person is uh, Angelina Jolie, right? So once again, you have like a 20 versus a five. And somehow, how do you get to be called Sleeping Beauty? And you're the third most attractive person in your movie. <laughs> After Angelina Jolie and the lingering memory of Angelina Jolie when she's not on the screen. Uh, and I think this all stems from, you know, my guess is, as because I, I, I think this is telling us about our culture now, you know, it's no longer, beauty is no longer in the eye of the beholder, it's in the eye and the uh, paragraphs of the feminist blogger. That's now where beauty comes from, apparently. Uh, I, I, like, they are making a Beauty and the Beast. What's weird is I wrote a joke uh, on, on Facebook uh, about, you know, oh, if they do Beauty and the Beast, blah, blah, blah. Then I find out a week later they actually are doing a live action version of Beauty and the Beast. So I'm guessing like Hugh Jackman, Brad Pitt as Beast, Lena Dunham. No! Because <laughs> Lena Dunham's like the jazz of attractiveness. It's the erection she doesn't give you. <laughs> Where the beauty comes from. Uh, <laughs> I don't get it. I just think at this point I'm tired of websites, you know, uh, uh, telling me, like Huffington Post women, telling me what's, what's attractive. It's like, I've got a heterosexual penis. It will decide for me what I find attractive. All due respect, uh, Huffington Post, but I've got a pretty good track record of deciding what I like. But I appreciate your input and how I should value. Right now, I feel like beauty is now the least important component to, to beauty. <laughs> But I look forward to Beauty and the Beast. That should be fun. <laughs>